Alright, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up your own Minecraft SMP server. SMP servers are more popular than ever and for some reason everybody wants to host their own SMP server now. So in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. But before we start, there are actually two things you have to think about. Now the first thing is, do you actually want to run plugins? If you don't want to run plugins, you can just make a normal vanilla Minecraft server. If you do want to run plugins though, you will have to make a Minecraft paper or spigot server. In this video I'm going to show you both methods so don't worry you can make your choice later but know that if you just make a normal vanilla minecraft server you won't be able to run any plugins now the second thing you have to think about is do you want to host your minecraft server on your own pc or at a minecraft server hosting company now the downside of a minecraft server hosting company is of course it costs money the plus side though is that your server can be online 24 7 and people can always join also you don't have to reveal your own ip address so people can track where you live now the plus side on hosting a Minecraft server on your own PC is of course, it is completely free. The downside though, people can track your IP address. So I would only actually recommend this if you only play with like a local group of friends that you actually know and you know that they don't have any bad intentions. Another downside though on hosting your Minecraft server on your own PC is that your PC has to be on 24 7 for people to be able to join. So if you have any intentions of making a big Minecraft SMP server, I would actually recommend hosting it at a Minecraft server hosting company. If you just want to play with a local group of friends your own pc is fine though you will have to do some port forwarding because by default people can join your ip address so you have to change some settings in your router so that people will actually be able to join it now i'm not going to show you port forwarding in this video but there are tons of tutorials on youtube on how to do it but this video will all be about how to make your own micro smp server and that's what I'm going to show you now. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to do it on my own PC. So I'm going to make a local Minecraft SMP server. Though if you're hosting your Minecraft SMP server at a Minecraft server hosting company, then the only difference is that you will have to access your FTP files instead of just using the regular Windows File Explorer. Anyways, guys, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like in this video and also check if you are subscribed to the channel. My analytics show me that most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed. Even though it would really mean a ton, you would help me out a lot and you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind and then without any further ado let's dive right into it So to start off this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a basic vanilla Minecraft server. So no plugins, nothing like that. Just straight up vanilla Minecraft. If you would go to single player in Minecraft and actually create a new world, then that is what you would get. But then multiplayer. So to actually make a vanilla Minecraft server, we're actually going to download a vanilla Minecraft server from Minecraft.net. So this is the Minecraft server that Mojang themselves actually releases every single time they release a new Minecraft version. So we're just going to click here and there it will start downloading now after it's done it will probably say something like this server.jar was blocked because this type of file can harm your device now we don't care it is from minecraft.net we know it's safe so we're just gonna click on keep and there we go now we're gonna put the server to the desktop and we're actually gonna make a folder where we're gonna make the server in so i'm actually gonna call it vanilla server there we go there it is. So the server.jar file, we're just gonna put it in there. Now after that, we can go into our vanilla server folder and here we will see the server.jar file. The only thing you will have to do is double click it. Now after double clicking it, it will start creating some files. After a while, you will see a logs folder, an eula.txt file and the server properties. Now to actually finish setting up your server, the only thing you have to do is go to the eula.txt file open it and the only thing you will have to do here is change this value to true there we go let's save it let's close it again and let's rerun the server and there we go the server is starting now to show you that it works we're inside of minecraft right now we're just gonna click on multiplayer and after that we're going to direct connection now in direct connection the only thing you have to type here is local host because we're actually hosting this server on our own pc we can just join like this we don't have to put in any ip address this will already work so just click on join server and there we go 
this is it. We're inside of our vanilla Minecraft SMP server. It is literally as easy as that. Now, if you're hosting your Minecraft server at a Minecraft server hosting company, then you're pretty much done. The only thing you have to do is actually give the IP address that the Minecraft server hosting company gave you to all the people that you want to be able to join the server and they can just join and have fun. Now, like I said, local host is more annoying. You have to do port forwarding and port forwarding can get pretty complicated. Also, you will have to give your IP address of your home to other people people so they can actually track where you live so i would not recommend that only if you're playing like with a very small amount of people and you all know them personally from school from work and you know that you know they won't harm you in any way then of course it doesn't matter but otherwise i would not recommend it now if you want to change something like server properties you can all do that over here so by opening this file you can change all your server properties so Let's say you want another MOTD. You can also change if your server has a whitelist or not. You can change if PvP is on or not. You can change the difficulty so right now it is uneasy. If you want to make it hard, you can make it hard. And that is pretty much it. That's the setting up of a basic vanilla Minecraft server. Now let's go to the more complicated story, which is actually setting up a Minecraft paper server with a couple of plugins. So the vanilla server, just gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna make myself a new folder and we're gonna call it paper server. There we go, paper server, beautiful. Now here we are on the paper.io website. Now a link to this website will of course be in the description of this video, but right here we can actually download our paper MC server. So we're just gonna click on the download button in the top right corner and after that we're going to download the newest version of them all. Just click on the small icon over here, it will start downloading. It will tell you that it's harmful, it is not. Just keep it and there we go. And we're gonna put this inside of our paper server folder. We're gonna run it one time. There we go. Okay, so now we are pretty much in the same scenario we were with the vanilla micro server. We actually have to agree to the EULA, so we're just gonna change it to true again, save the file, there we go, and then run it again, and there goes your Minecraft paper server. All up and running. So if we would now go to localhost, we would go to this server, the Minecraft paper server. But like you can see, we have much more files here. So while these were the files of the Minecraft vanilla server, these are all the files of the Minecraft paper server. It's a lot more. Now the server already works. I mean, you could just start playing. If you want to change the server properties, you can of course do it in the server properties file. But what we actually want to do is we want to install some plugins on the server. So we're gonna stop our Minecraft server again. There we go. The paper server has been shut down. And now we can just start installing some plugins. So something you didn't see with the vanilla Minecraft server was actually the plugins folder. But because this is a paper server, we can actually run some plugins so let's go inside of the plugins folder and like you can see it's completely empty except for the b-stats you can just ignore that so the first plugin i want to install is essentials x essentials x is like the most essential plugin ever you need to install this on your minecraft server if you're running any kind of plugin server so we're just gonna click on download from essentials.net we're gonna download the stable builds so essentials x we actually want that we also want essentials chat and we also do want essentials spawn they are all really really handy now i also want to install world edit on the server so let's go and actually download world edit keep the file there we go and we're also going to install world guards just because it's really handy it's a really handy plugin there we go now here you can see all the plugins we just downloaded we're just going to select them all then let's go back to our paper folder plugins and then paste them all here easy as that now we're going back to our jar files and it should actually start loading all the plugins as well and to show you that it works we're inside of minecraft let's go to direct connection localhost join server and there we go welcome kasasura to the server thank you very much like i can see we have some basic tools here that's actually something that essentials does and if we type slash plugins you will see all the plugins that are currently on the server Essentials, Essentials Chat, Essentials Spawn, World Edit and World Guard. Now of course this is a very very small portion of all the plugins that you can actually install on a Minecraft server. I mean a typical Minecraft SMP server like I have, StarCraft SMP, has around 25-26 plugins. Now I actually made a video about every single plugin that I use on my Minecraft SMP server. So if you want to check that out, make sure to click in the top right corner right now. The video will be linked there. It has recently been updated so every single plugin that I currently use 
is in that list. Now, if you want a more detailed guide on how to exactly set up certain Minecraft plugins like Essentials or Luckworms or Multiverse, I have actually made Minecraft tutorials about that. They're all inside of a plugin tutorial playlist, so make sure to check them out as well. Hopefully, it will actually help you out a lot with installing plugins on your Minecraft SMP server. All right, so I have showed you how to set up a basic vanilla Minecraft SMP server, and I've also showed you how to set up a Minecraft paper server and how to install some plugins on them. And then, guys, that's everything for now. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet, and you're enjoying the content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And then, that's all for now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.